That includes more than 140 urban search and rescue specialists. And our Jolani Martinez says other federal teams are helping to identify victims. Twenty cadaver dogs continue to search ground zero. So far, they've covered less than a third of the burn zone. Today, 75 FEMA personnel were deployed to the Valley Isle, including coroners and pathologists, as well as x-ray and lab technicians. A portable morgue also touched down. Officials say the unit consists of all the equipment needed for victim identification and processing remains. It's, it's going to be a very, very difficult mission. Um, and patients will be incredibly important because of the number of, of victims. Michael Richter was one of the Lahaina residents who went to Maui Police Department's forensic facility in Wailuku with hopes of identifying his stepfather. He's gone. I just want to identify the body. Uh, the police have really helped, uh, but I have run into a lot of people that I understand are tired. I'm tired too. I haven't slept in six days. And, uh, and I, I just, like I said, I just want to identify his body and uh, put him at rest. To help identify loved ones, people are advised to go to the Family Assistance Center at the Kahului Community Center for a DNA cheek swap to match the living with the dead. But collecting DNA from those who perished could be a challenge. Chances of finding good DNA samples might be a really hard thing to do. Also, once you identify a victim and you have reference samples from their family, the DNA process alone is very time consuming uh, and very tedious. You don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to misidentify someone. Even though the individual may not be identified today or tomorrow, there is hope they'll be identified in the weeks or months to follow. And that's so, so important. For example, 9-11, the Twin Towers, they're still identifying individuals from a little piece of bone that is found on a rooftop in a gutter or something like that all these years later. Dr. Mann has helped identify remains in mass casualties, including those who were in the Pentagon on 9-11. Tomorrow, he's heading to Maui to help with recovery efforts. Well, I just hope that we can stay in this together, we can trust one another, that all the responders, all the science, all the scientists and the doctors are doing the best thing they can, I hope. And if that's the case, we will go from this point of unknown to this point, hopefully, of identifications. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.